so hello and welcome to today's lesson so this happened to be the seventh lesson in our study of topology one and in this video we're talking about the host of space okay so let us take a definition okay so a topological space big x is hosed off if for every pair of distinct points so a keyword here is distinct points x and y in the topological space x there exist disjoint neighborhoods u and v of x and y respectively so you can look at the definition okay so to make things clearer you are going to illustrate that with this image here this diagram here another best thing please right so you could see that we have our topological space x here all right then we have two points so we have x here and y here and we can see that they are all contained in big x so just like what it said x and y in big x right and these are distinct that means they are not the same point so you could see x and y are not the same points and because they are distinct they always have disjoint neighborhoods u and v right so you could see that when it comes to x we have u here and when it comes to y we have v here and you could see that the neighborhoods u and v so x is in u y is in v we could see that they are disjoint all right so i hope you know what disjoint is like for instance when you have this it's not disjoint because we could see that they intersect at a point right or when you have something like this then they are disjoint they don't have anything in common all right so you could see that um the neighborhoods u and v are disjoint so this is how to um explain what a hold of space is okay so let's take a note that in a hold of space distinct points have disjoint neighborhood so you could see that with the illustration here we had just two distinct points x and y so for instance if we're having three distinct points let's say x y z and this belongs to they belong to these neighborhoods right they would have have something like this we have topological space x here and we have x being contained here y z where we have these neighborhoods we could see that they are disjoint so that's what the notes means that in the host of space distinct points have distinct neighborhoods okay so let's take a theorem so this theorem says if x is a host of space then every single point subset of x is closed right so as far as x is a host of space then every single point subset of x is closed so let's assume that if x is a b c right and this is a host of space we are assuming then the single point sets like this that and this will always be closed okay do always be closed so that's what the term is trying to say so let's prove it okay so the first thing you are going to do is you are going to suppose a point small s is contained in big x right so 
in order to show that and this x here ha um, happens to be a single point um, subset of x okay so we want to show that it is closed all right but in order to show that the single point set is closed then we need to show that its complement is open right if you remember from the definition of what a closed set is we said a subset a of x is closed if its complement s minus a is open all right so we are using that concept here so to be able to show that this is closed we need to show that its complement is open all right and showing that its complement is open means we have to show that it is always found in the in our topology tau defined on x right because all members of our topology tau are what we refer to as open sets so that's what we want to show here so we let the point y be contained in um the complement of x right which is the full set big x minus the subset x and we let that be arbitrary okay so since x is Hausdorff, because we said x is Hausdorff, right then it means that there are disjoint neighborhoods u and v containing x and y respectively okay so we know that u we have these two neighborhood and x is in u and y is in v so as a result of that you know we, they have this joint right because the holds us they have this joint neighborhoods it means that x can never be contained in v the same way y can also never be contained in u because if x is contained in v and y is contained in u it means there are no more disjoints so you see it doesn't work that way right so that's the reason why we say it follows that s is never contained in vain and therefore it is rather y which should be contained in vain even from the statement we made here and we know that y happens to be a subset of um x big x minus to the full set x minus the subset x all right then we could see that because y is in v and v happens to be a subset of this it means that every y is containing the full set x minus the subset x okay and y so this y is contained in what we can see here and it's in an open set contained in the full set x minus the subset x right so it implies that the full set x minus the single point subset small x is open right so we needed to show that this year was closed but before we could show that we needed to rather prove that its complement is open so that was what we went through and you realized that um, finally we're able to show that its complement which is this is open so that happens to be a proof to the theorem so thank you very much and then all the best so in lesson eight We'll be talking about metric spaces okay so don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel thank you very much